The left side of the wall shows the owner of the tomb, the high priest, Fitah Hutub. If this man is about 400 years before Abraham, 2400 years BC, Egyptian artwork had to show certain part of the body so that certain part of the body can come back to the hereafter. Faces had to be done in profile, shoulder to waist from the front, legs were done in profile, both hands or both feet were either right or left. Worst punishment of ancient Egypt was to cut the nose off. You cut the nose off, you chop the nose off of a person. That meant the person wouldn't breathe, wouldn't smell, wouldn't come back to a second life. He is bigger in his scale comparing to anybody else. And in front of him are eight registers. Register four shows animal copulating. You have more production, more is coming out. There is this man that says, I'm the overseer of the animal. He's got four cows. He's holding the cows, four different ropes. He's so still, he's so steady. But one of the cows wanted to run away. The rope was so tight around the neck, so the tongue is like sticking out and hooves are leaping. There is a scene picture that shows a vet helping a cow to give birth and it shows hooves coming out first. Hooves in hieroglyphics meant resurrection. So more are coming out or there is a resurrection. The sixth line shows a cow being attacked by a lion. The cow was so scared and started to urinate. So the good being attacked by evil. A chief hunter who's got few hounds, he directs the hounds to go attack animals in the desert. In ancient Egypt, it was a struggle between the desert and the green land. In the very opposite wall, we see the man getting really old with different haircut, a different goatee beard. And there is a table right in front of him that looks like litter tea. Over the table, there are like feathers. They're not really feathers. They are different shape of bread. Word bread in hieroglyphics was actually two words. One word is called pet. Pet meant sky, heaven. And then tau, tau is a verb that meant to give. Sky is giving or heaven's gift. And that's a word for bread, pit tau.